Hi guys, I am back today with another decluttering video. Sorry, my nails are broken and look like crap, but here we are. Um, I recently had another really bad allergic reaction, probably one of the worst ones I've had. And so I have not been doing in front of the camera videos because I look really bad. <laughs> Um, it's better, so I don't look terrible, but I, I did, and I still am feeling self-conscious about it. So, in any case, I am not doing that. I am doing another declutter, and this one is much, much, much more brutal. You will see some Pat go away. You will see some Natasha go away. You will see some everything go away. Probably a lot more than you're expecting, but I have a ton of palettes, and I need to just keep what I love the most, and that's what we're going to do here today. Then there's some brands that I will lose none of. <laughs> so in any case, I really hope you guys like this video, and here comes the declutter. Also, I just wanted to add that I know in the last declutter that I did, I had a few comments where people were kind of upset, and I, I understand and can relate to where they're coming from about the amount of items that I have decluttered and the waste that there is involved in having this much makeup. Now, to that fact, I just want to state a couple things. One, I never, unless makeup has actually gone bad, throw something away. Like, it just does not go in the dumpster. If nothing else, I would keep it for swatching purposes. So, I will never be one to just toss something in a garbage can. I always try to either sell it somewhere or give it to a family member or a friend. I don't like to turn my waste into world waste. So, just keep that in mind when you are watching these videos. And when I do buy stuff, it's because I genuinely want to try it and I want to see if it's the next best thing for me. And for me, I'm sick a lot of the time. I don't get to leave my house. I don't get to go out and hang out with friends and do stuff that a lot of normal people get to do. So this is what makes me happy. And this is where I find my enjoyment and purpose in life, which sounds maybe very shallow. But to me, I, I just, outside of my kids and my family... There's not a lot that I get to do, so I really hope you guys won't begrudge me that. And also, there will be some brands in here that I'm sure you guys don't like, or are not happy with, or there's controversy surrounding. And I just, I just want you guys to know, like, I have no hate for anybody. I love all people. I mean, I'm disappointed in some people, but I, I love people, and um, I try not to judge them. I try really, really hard to see everybody's point of view on different things but at the end of the day this is a makeup channel and when you guys tell me you want to see something I will pick it up regardless of any kind of controversy surrounding that so I again apologize if I have makeup that offends you I would never try to offend anybody but um, again I just try to have fun with makeup and have fun with what I can so anyway I hope you guys like this video okay so now I'm going to be going through my Pat McGrath in no particular order because they are all over here and I have a staggering amount. <laughs> uh, so the very first one I'm going to look at is the Metamorphosis palette and this is like one of her six pan palettes. I'm going to put this in the maybe because I am torn and I'm not sure but I'm going to be getting rid of some of my pats. I know that that will shock and surprise and probably make everyone else feel like I feel which is like life sucks. <laughs> So in any case, for now, this will go into the maybe pile. The very next one is the Bronze Temptation, and I will absolutely not be getting rid of this in this life or the next, I am sure. This has some of the most beautiful shades in it. I'm trying to capture the shiftiness of it, but it's not happening. But I can tell you for a fact that I love this palette, and I want to make more use out of it, so that's why other stuff's got to go. You gots to go. This is a key. It might keep over here, maybe. <laughs> this is the brand new Rose Decadence. And number one, this packaging. Like, how beautiful is this packaging? And I will not be getting rid of this, number one, because I just got this. And number two, because if I'm going to get rid of anything, it's not going to be this packaging. Real talk. The next one is the Dark Star. Six pan palette. And... <sighs> And I will be getting rid of this, to be honest, because I'm, like, it's beautiful, it's stunning, but this is just not my color story. I hate that I'm getting rid of any of my pad. This is me being honest. I'm like, I already hate that I've made this decision, but I don't reach for this. I'm not going to reach for this. It's beautiful packaging, but that is not a reason to keep something. Boom. I said it. For highlighting, Sublime Highlighting Trio. And I still really like this. I think I'm going to hang on to it for the time being. Or will I? No, I'm going to hang on to it for a little bit longer. I may change my mind on it later. But 
I, I like it still. Lavi and Rose. And the packaging, of course, is awesome. This is one I think that I damaged during my last uh, video with Pat McGrath stuff. But this is a beautiful palette. However, I don't feel like... I'm not crazy about... Okay, no. I don't even know how to say this. I like the shades in here, but I don't reach for them. And I have these many, many times over. This one is really gorgeous and it's shifty and different and pretty, but I also have similar shades in the Divine Roses. So for me, this is going to be saying goodbye. I'm so sorry. I said good day. This is the Bronzy Ambition. This is what the packaging looks like. Beautiful, of course. And I'm going to put this in the maybe pile as well. It is gorgeous. I really like it. But again, I feel like these colors are not unique for Pat McGrath. So I will probably have them in the bigger palettes. And if I do, it's time to say goodbye and adieu and farewell. This one is the Platinum Bronze palette. I actually have two of these. <laughs> but I think that I'll be keeping this because this is a cool toned palette. I don't have a lot like this. And should I want a look with this? Or should I want a look that is cool toned? I would certainly reach for this because it is beautiful. So this is a keep for now. Not saying it's a keep forever, but it's a keep for now. And okay, this packaging, it's it's divine, literally. Okay, the next one I have is the Golden Opulence. Now I have like the New Year's packaging, which is super cool. And then I have the actual just regular packaging itself. This is what the inside looks like, which at first glance seems kind of like basic. But I really like this palette. I know that sounds ridiculous because, I, I, I mean, it is very similar. You know what, I'm going to put this in the maybes. But I, it's a strong maybe. It's a strong maybe. We're going to put it there. I'm just going to, it's going to go in the maybes. I'm going to keep the box either way. Uh, also, that is a note. Anything I declutter that is the big palettes, I will be keeping the box. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> the next one I have is the Galactic Gold palette. And this has C-3PO on the cover because he's awesome. This will not be leaving my collection in this life or the next. I was very happy to get my hot little hands on this. Now that I'm looking at it, though, I am seeing some of the other colors in those. I mean, I'm definitely keeping this, but um, it may make getting rid of those a little bit easier. Oh, I'm dropping more stuff over here. Galaxy palette. You got a stormtrooper there on the front, which is baller. This palette is stunning. Like, you can't, I don't know if you can tell, hopefully, this very first shade at the top left is very shifty and interesting. And the looks I've gotten from this are really good. Quit falling. <laughs> you will not fall. Anybody like my Jedi mind trick there? It's clearly not working. I need to work on my Jedi skills. And I have is Ritualistic Rose. This is by far my favorite quad. It will not be... What have I done here? I'm... Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, this will not ever be leaving my collection. It is, without a doubt, my favorite quad that she has ever done. And if she made a hundred billion more palettes just like this, I'd buy them all. I would buy every freaking one. So, keepsies. This is Nocturnal Nirvana. And it is this beautiful. Oh my goodness, I can't open a darn thing today. Oh my gosh, how did I put these back in here? Rude. This is this gorgeous quad. It is this shade right here. Just has my soul. So this will be going nowhere. Plus that gold is beautiful. Like, hello, I'm gorgeous and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. That just happened. That was creepy. The next one that I have is the Iconic Illumination palette. I don't know if we should call these palettes. These are more like elevated quads here. And this is what it looks like. Ow, I pinched my finger. Ow. It is, okay. It is gorgeous. But I'm not really a fan of this red color. It's just not as, I mean, if these are special shades, I don't feel like it's that special. Like, hang on. Okay, I, I can't do that like other people can do that. I'm more of like an arm swatcher. What was I thinking? That was just a silly idea. <laughs> Let, allow me to actually swatch this for you guys. Like, just put it out there. It is a really pretty color of red, but is it like the most earth shattering thing ever? No, and I'm kind of upset with myself for buying this at this point, especially because it went on like crazy sale, like not long ago. But if I'm going to spend $65 on a quad, 
I want it to be fantastic. And Pat's shadows are great, but it's not... These shadows aren't, like, special. They're not special like the ones in the Ritualistic Rose, which are all, like, super fantastic. Now, this shade is really pretty. But again, I have lots of shades like this. I have lots of shades like that. And this one is probably the only one that is, like, a special shade. And even that, like, I've already got this. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I will not be getting rid of the box, of course, because it is beautiful. <laughs> this is the subliminal palette. And this is what the outside of the box looks like. And this is the inside of the palette itself. Actually, let's see if we can get a little turn on that. Well, not a lot. But this is what it looks like. And hands down, I never wanted this palette. And then I got it. And it has to be one of my favorite palettes by her. Like, this gold color right here is probably one of the most beautiful shades of gold I have ever seen. And now that I've done that, I think that actually I am going to go ahead and get rid of this. Because I almost feel like the gold that's in here, let's just go ahead and swatch that too. It's very similar. This one might be slightly more white, but we're going to go ahead and declutter this as well. Boom! Yeah. This one is the Sublime palette. That is what the outside looks like. And this is what... If I could put my palettes away nicely, that would be helpful. This is what the inside looks like. It is also a really beautiful palette, and I will not be getting rid of this one either. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of this one either. Subversive palette, and this is what the outside looks like. This was actually the last one I got. I wasn't going to get it, but it is astonishingly really more remarkable than it looks like in the pans. Like, on the eyes, you just get some really fantastic looks. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, and so this will not be leaving either. This one is the Decadence palette, and you will notice that I finally have this packaging instead of the other, which was the Star Wars I actually found a person who wanted to switch, so I went ahead and did that, and they still had a gold version of the palette, which is super pretty, and you guys can tell, whatever I got on my palette when I was doing my swatch videos is still there, because I have not pulled this back out, so I'm so sorry. But this is gorgeous, the outside is beautiful. <sighs> Here is the inside. Now, I'm going to say this, I don't really use this palette, and I... Don't think I'm going to. I really like this shade. This is probably my most favorite shade ever from her. It's like this incredible silvery gold shade. And then I do like this shade. Oh man, I'm about to talk myself right up on out of this. This is actually kind of a shifty shade. Hopefully you guys can see that it shifts from like a reddish pink to an orange and almost a yellow. And then I do also like this color right here. Hmm. And as I say this, I might have talked myself into keeping it. How do you feel about that? I'd say if I keep this, I'm definitely getting rid of Metamorphosis. Ugh, shoot, I need to... I need to think this over a little bit more. So this is going to go in the maybe pile. But the box will be staying. <laughs> Fine Rose 2 palette. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't really show you guys. That's what the outside looks like. It is really pretty. Like, stunning packaging. Love it. Gorgeous. Woo! Never losing it. And I will absolutely not be decluttering this palette. Like, come on. Come on. This is going nowhere, clearly. I'll just go ahead and touch this another time because I'm not sick of seeing it. Oh, my God. And it's funny. When I'm looking at it dead on, it's green. So, hopefully, you're catching that flip. Gorgeous. Forever. <laughs> Never, ever, ever getting rid of it. Next one is the original Divine Rose. Okay, am I the only one that this opening kind of drives them nuts? <laughs> Just because it takes forever to open. Packaging is truly divine. It is gorgeous. And I don't know if somebody's been watching my videos, but my original box for this came damaged. And then one day, like, I don't know, three weeks ago, I got a replacement. So if somebody was actually watching my videos and saw that it was damaged and sent me a new one, I love you. <laughs>
like it truly made my day like it showed up and I was like oh my gosh look so thank you for the replacement box because I was truly saddened about the other one and this made my little day that being said I will <laughs> never be getting rid of Divine Rose one because it is divine which makes me kind of want to pull out some of these and get a little comparison here and see if I need these I know that I have a gold like this in one of the other ones. I feel like there's, I feel like this pink is really something special though. Hang on a sec. Okay, so I've got this palette out in case you couldn't see it because my arms are like all weird here. And what I would like to do is swatch the shades that I feel like are really, really pretty in this palette. There's that one, really pretty. And it looks orange in the camera, but it is more pink in person. And then I really like this this shade down here as well, which is like that. I can't get a great view on it, so I don't know. Maybe I'll be fine without it, because obviously Pat's got like a million of these colors and a bunch of these colors, a bunch of these colors, a bunch of gold colors. These are the only two I'm hanging on to it for, so I'm kind of like, is it worth it for just those two? I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. But this is going nowhere. <laughs> I've got the Midnight Sun palette, which is sentimental to me just in general because I love Twilight and this book just came out not long ago finally after like 13 years of waiting and praying. <laughs> but this is the exterior of it. It is beautiful. Here is what the inside looks like. <sighs> I shouldn't be I should be embarrassed. My palettes are all dirty. And in fact, this kind of is giving me vibes of the Bronze Ambition as well. So, let's go ahead and settle some of this right here. Okay, so there's definitely some similar shades, like, for sure. <laughs> like, this shade and this shade are similar. They're not close enough, or not, they're not far enough apart that I'd feel sad. This shade and this shade look like almost the same color. I know there's other chocolate browns and other palettes. In fact, I think there's one in the... Uh, big palette as well <sighs> this might just be a declutter which is sad because I just don't want to get rid of it but okay for now we're just gonna say declutter this will be going nowhere <laughs> one is my baby my favorite my love it is the bronze seduction palette like this packaging number one gives me all of the feels. She makes the most beautiful packaging that there is in this whole world and I know you've heard it a million times and you're gonna hear it a million more. I'm not nearly done. <laughs> okay, so the inside, I know you guys have seen it, but don't we enjoy looking at it? It is beautiful. Now here's my question. Is this at all like the shade? No, it's not quite the same. This to me looked more similar and not similar at all now. Okay, all right. This is going nowhere. It's just to choose between this and this, which definitely in my mind have similar shades. They are both very metallic. <sighs> okay. Let's think about this here. There's golds in both. There's the silvers in both. This shade is pretty. I think that, is this the same shade? Hang on. No. Okay, they are different, but they are I like this one better, personally. That's just me. They're both gorgeous. Like, look at that on my finger. Come on. Gorgeous. Stop it. <sighs> my hard time here is, I, if I liked this shade better than this one, I would go ahead and get rid of this one. But I don't. And it makes me sad because I can't keep the packaging from these. That's my hardship getting rid of my small palettes is that packaging is gone. And then I don't get to display it on my wall, which makes me a sad, sad patty. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and declutter this as well. So that's pretty much a lot of my small palettes. And I'm still torn on this one because truthfully, I don't use it. I love this shade. I love this shade. I really like this shade. But these two right here, I like the most out of this palette. However, I feel like I can get away from having this and be okay. This is the shade I would miss. Now, I think that this was in the smaller, hang on, let's check this out here. I had another palette that was like this, and I think that shade was in this version of it. Not this version, but the other version of it. So I could just as easily keep this and have, I think this shade is the same, that shade is the same, and maybe the gold is the same. So I could keep this and have this big one. 
I'm torn here. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what I should do here. I'm not sure. Should I keep this and get rid of this? Or get rid of this and keep this? And then get the other one like this so I have this shade again. Let me know. <laughs> now I have decluttered seven Pat McGrath palettes. Right here. Sad day. I've got my Sigma palettes. Starting with the brand new one, which is the Untamed palette. And it is a beautiful palette. I really enjoyed using it, but it is not my favorite from them. That's just me being honest. And since this is a brutal declutter, I will be getting rid of it. Uh, it will go to a happy home. <laughs> my Sigma Enchanted palette. Now, I recently did a video with this, and I know this is going to probably surprise you guys, but I am actually going to declutter it. Not because the colors aren't beautiful, but because I am keeping other brands um, that have very similar colors, and so I don't need a lot of repeat shades. I am trying to be very brutal during this declutter. Macorda Rosa. Here is the inside. I really, really like this palette. This is a different one. I actually had two of them. But my main issue with it is that it does come off more orange than it does actually pink and rosy toned. So I will be getting rid of this as well. It is beautiful. If you guys want to see my swatches on any of those, I will maybe be able to link the videos below for you guys to check out. Alter Ego Aurora palette. Now, this I have not used yet, so I'm going to hang on to this because I want to do a comparison video to the, I believe it's the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, and let you guys know what I think. Although, I have to tell you, every Alter Ego palette I have used has been wonderful. It may not be the exact same quality as Natasha Denona, but that is okay. I mean, you are saving so much money by getting these palettes that, I mean, really, you should probably expect it's not going to be the exact same, but the, the finishes are very similar. It's just... Not quite the same. This palette is from Alter Ego and it is the Goddess palette. And while I love this and enjoy it and really think it is good, I'll be keeping my Natasha Denona gold palette. So this, it will also be leaving my collection. Bye bye. Here you go. It is the Artemis palette. I recently did a video on this. This is a dupe, well, uh, kind of sort of a dupe for the Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona. And it is a beautiful palette. And I'm, this is me putting it out there. If you do not want to spend the money on Natasha Denona, you can pick up any of the Alter Ego palettes and you are going to be really happy. They are not 100% dupes, but they are extremely close. It would be very hard to tell the difference. Although every single video I've done, my husband's been able to tell which one's Natasha Denona. So there might be something to be said for that. If you don't and you're on a budget, you can definitely get them there. And I think you will be just as happy. And there's a code. It's not my code, but um, Porcelain that is also on YouTube. She is awesome. Her code is Porcelain and you get 10% off. Okay, so the next few that I have are all from Makeup Geek. And some of these are going to be like, why are you getting rid of them? I thought you really liked them and that they were new and all that. The duplicates I just threw into these. So these will be getting sold. This is all a bunch of random shades and this I will be parting ways with because I have kept all the shades I'm going to keep keep of my older Makeup Geek shades but this is really pretty. Then I've got this one which is just another kind of custom palette. Uh, so I'm stupid. This is this looks like crap because I tore these apart trying to get them out before I realized that there are holes on the back to just push them on through. So uh -huh. There's that. This one is another one. And a lot of these, I have duplicates of these shades as well, so that may surprise or not surprise some of you. <laughs> and then I think this, yeah, this was the this was the Manny MUA palette with Makeup Geek. And this may surprise you because I actually said this was one of my sentimental palettes. And I still really, really like it. But it gets to a point where I've got a crazy amount of palettes in my collection, including some of their new shades, so I need to make room. Another custom one I did. It's kind of similar to the last one, as you'll notice, but that is also saying goodbye. This one too. I'm going into my Sydney Gray Shadows, which you can already guess that I will probably not be getting rid of the majority of these. These are my green and golds. They will be going nowhere, like ever. They will never move. I may eventually go through each shade and see what I want to keep and what I don't, but as far as I can say right now, the reason I'm doing such a ruthless declutter is because I want to be able to use the stuff I like the most. And Sydney Grace, love them. Love them, love them, creepy. 
The next one is Tiny Marvels. This is the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson collab, which I will a thousand percent be keeping because I truly enjoy this palette so much. It gave me some beautiful looks and I can't wait to make more out of it. Oh, look, if you look in the mirror, you can see me talking with my hands still. Ha -ha. But I will absolutely be keeping this. The next one is Autumn's Rain from Sydney Grace. It will never leave my collection because it is stunning. It is beautiful. Uh, a few of these shades you'll notice when they are in a palette, they will touch the mirror. It, there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't hurt the shadows or anything, but it is kind of like, oh, you got my palette dirty. But I, trust me, this swatch is so nice. Eventually, I am still going to do a video with this for you guys. And hopefully with a smaller load in my collection, it will be sooner rather than later. Here are some more of my Sydney Grace single shades, which I think I will probably go through this and make sure I want to keep all of these. But for now, they're all staying because I love Sydney Grace. Again, I may say it like another 50 times. This one is the Chase Your Dreams palette that just came out with their last sale. And actually, this will be leaving my collection. So this is one that I'm just personally not as drawn to like I am with the rest of them if this were an all green palette you guys would already know like it wouldn't be going anywhere so this I actually will be decluttering and I've got to say if you haven't checked it out it is a beautiful palette there's nothing wrong with it I just already have a lot of these colors and I'm, I'm happy with the ones I've got so goodbye the next one is also from Sydney Grace <laughs> and it's the summer days palette and I also got this during their Christmas and July sale and this is going nowhere this is a gorgeous neutral palette I, it's actually neutral pinkish mauvish more than that, but it also has some, I, you, you can see it, it's gorgeous, and I also have a video on both of those palettes, so if you want to see swatches in more detail, check those out. And then I have more Sydney Grace singles. But wait, there's more? My husband's in the background saying, and but wait, there's more, and he's absolutely right, actually. <laughs> and I will be swatching these for you guys very, very soon, because I kind of showed you my haul, but I didn't show you swatches of everything. But I will be writing down the names individually and then telling you guys as I go through that so you have a detailed view of it. But wait, there's still more. <laughs> Here are more Sydney Grace singles. No, I don't have enough. No, I don't care if you judge me because they were worth every single penny. This is a brand that I will never get enough of. They truly just do makeup well. Okay, this is not theirs. This is a random shadow that I just put in there. Just ignore that one. It's like the redheaded stepchild of this palette. You don't go here. Actually, I'm going to take it out right now. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, I lied. It, that was actually one of their pigments that I tried to press and I didn't do a great job. But I will swatch it for you guys when I do this, uh, when I do these swatched out. So. There are some. Aren't you excited to check them out? This one, I cannot wait to touch. Like, I'm dying to touch it. It's the greatest gift. And it looks like the greatest gift. It shifts from, like, a maroon to a green. It's beautiful. You're beautiful. Okay, next I have the Menagerie or Menagerie Feral Palette. And I have not used this, so I am not going to be decluttering it at this time because I really want to do a video for you guys for my channel. It looks gorgeous. I cannot wait to play with it. You know I'm like checking out these yellow and green shades. Although I'm heavy checking out some of these ones over here too. But I will say this. I am going to be decluttering the Menagerie Killer Pur, Pur Palette. I don't want to because I think the packaging is gorgeous. Like if I could just save this packaging, I would. It is so cool. I love their artwork. I think it is unique and they are an indie brand that I really like. Their shipping is pretty decently fast. But here's my qualm. These shades are actually really nice. The mattes worked really well. But the metallic shades, which there's only two of in this palette, were really disappointing to me. And this kind of reminds me of a few of the melt palettes that I have. So I'm kind of like, okay, do I want to keep them all? And, ugh, I, and I don't. I need to make space. You guys have my opinion on it. And I really hope that you check out that video. <sighs> Sorry, there's a little bit of fallout from other shadows on here if in a perfect world I would keep all of my shadows I would never get rid of anything if this were I could call this hoarders anonymous and I could just talk about all the things I don't want to get rid of instead but I do need to make space because 
in my opinion, these metallics were not that good. I'm so sorry. Please don't be mad at me because it's a beautiful palette aside from those. If you're looking for good mattes and you don't have some of the Melt palettes and you don't have single eyeshadows and you don't have Sydney Grace's single eyeshadows, then this would be great. Even if you have those, this would still be great because a lot of these shades are very unique and beautiful colors. I have some Give Me Glow Cosmetics palettes. This is the Christmas Morning palette. This will be going nowhere. I have not had a chance to use it yet, and I will certainly be doing so in the near future, I'm hoping. So this is definitely not going anywhere. Give Me Glow has done nothing but impress me with their formulations because they are top of the line. So I have Juicy Olive. Oh my gosh, this palette when I used it, it was like heaven opened up and the angels sang and it was everything I needed in my life. And it will be going nowhere. It will be going nowhere. This is the extra spicy palette from them. Oh, I almost dropped it. I am so sorry. Oh my gosh, let me make amends. I, okay, I didn't want to buy this originally, but then I started using some of their other shades and got to know their formulation and it was a thousand percent worth the price. These pans are huge. These shadows are gorgeous, and I think it was money well, well spent. It will be going nowhere. Palette I was super excited about forever. This is the Vintage Rose palette from Give Me Glow. No. Tell me that these shades are not divine. They are so beautiful. And unfortunately, hang on, I wonder if I can move some light this direction. Oh my gosh, isn't that better now? You guys can see everything. <laughs> I am not getting rid of this. I obviously I haven't used it yet, so it's not going anywhere until I at least use it. If it's terrible, then I will declutter it, but uh, I don't think it will be because I've used other of their palettes and they are really good. Then this is the Summer Vibes palette from them, and I am so excited to use this. This is pathetic. This is why I'm doing a declutter, because there's so many palettes that I am, like, chomping at the bit to use, and I can't because I... I have so many, which, you know, is not a bad thing. It's nice to have selection and choice and variation, but I want to use you. Look how beautiful these colors are. Come on. So that's going nowhere. From them, which I only have a few shades in for now, but if they do a Black Friday sale, which I am really hoping for, I will be filling this and probably getting another. Real talk. The first being the Pretty Cool palette, and I was on the fence about it, but now that I have the Cremated palette and a few other, like, kind of more cooler tone palettes, this is an easy declutter for me. Their formulation is very, very good, Dose of Colors is, but they're very easy to break, and I dislike that a lot. Colors is the Cutting Edge palette, which will clearly be going nowhere, because you guys know how I feel about shades like this. <sighs> And the performance of them were so good. So, no, 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 no. My precious will be going somewhere safe. The next one is Sassy Sienna's. These are hard to open. I don't think I'm ready to get rid of this. I have a problem. I'll be saving this. It's not going anywhere yet. The next one is Baked Browns, and I think I can safely say goodbye to this, even though the first few shades under here are gorgeous. I really like them. I, I know I've got some similar to it, at least in my Sydney Grace, so this can definitely go. And the last one is Blushing Berries, which I also feel can go at this point because I've got a lot of Sydney Grace colors that are similar to this. Oh, I feel better. <laughs> I'm really having a hard time because I know I have shades like these and I probably have some that are better, so you know what? No, I need to, I need to, I need to... I need to stop trying to hang on to it because I really like this and these were great. And if you had a chance to pick these up, they were a great price. Like there's this one and then there's this one. So this one was the Champagne and Rose or no, <laughs> Champagne and Rose and this one was the Peach Bellini and they were both so good. I really like them, but I, okay, here's the thing. The mattes are fantastic. The shimmers, I didn't like as well as many others in my collection and I need to be more practical. If I don't love it, then I need to not keep it. And if I don't love it, I need to list it. So goodbye to these. Ooh, okay, so these are some of the original ones that I was going to keep, I think. I think that's what I was doing with these. Although now I'm kind of going, well, I've got some other shades. I don't know. I'm unsure what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile for now. And, huh, here's another lot that I'm still kind of like maybe pile. These are both in a maybe pile. This I will be keeping. It's just some leftovers I had. These are not ones I had doubles of, so this is a keep for now. Here is my massive thing of Makeup Geek shadows. You know what? Okay, these are ones that I clearly like very, very much. So 
let's go ahead and I'm going to keep this whole like thing because it's massive and I, and I love it, but I really like this shade up here. <laughs> what are you? Frappe. <sighs> okay. I think I'm going to declutter this one. I'm probably going to keep a couple of these and I'm probably going to get rid of the rest because in that other container is pretty much everything I need at least of their old shadows. A few more and I will be keeping these for the meantime because I actually think these two are indie brand ones <laughs> and these two are not. So I'll keep it so I can figure out what is going on with this. Almost had a tragedy, but thankfully I have found them. I couldn't find this palette anywhere. I was like, where did I put it? But I will be keeping all of these. This is the new formulation and I love it. It will be going nowhere from, this is also from Makeup Geek. I don't think I just said that, but this is their old palette they used to have, which I always thought was super cute. So keepsies what I've got left of my of some of my indie brands I've decided to keep I'm trying to keep only my absolute favorites so up here is a mix of Luxie or Luxie or Luxie I'm not sure how you say it um, there's a few Davina I think I said it right this time you guys I could be wrong there's some Vanessa's Vanity there's some Menagerie and then there is one lonely little Cleona which I would love to add to this ColourPop kind of mixed palette and I'm going to be going through it, pulling my favorites, and adding them to this, and then selling the extras from this. These are a bunch of Dawn Eye Cosmetics. This is their pigments, and I tried to press them because I, I have a whole bunch of really beautiful pigments that I never use because I hate the little pots. They drive me nuts. So Dawn Eye Co Cosmetics, I would like these much better if these were pressed into pans. Actually, I have a few of the Davina ones in here, too. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. I don't remember if these are the Davina or the Luxie. Yeah, these are the Davina. I think there's also Luxie in there too. Uh, but I will be keeping this for now because I think I'm going to do a swatch video on these for you guys. These are some of like the multi-chromatic shades, but I need to be careful because it is extremely fragile. So, because I, I don't know how to press stuff for reals. It's a lie. I have the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette, and I had talked myself into decluttering this, but I am just not ready. And it's partially because of this fantastic packaging. Like, I love this. I could display this at Halloween, and I'd be completely fine with that. And then it's partially because it is really a beautiful palette. Like, I like every color in here. I like the formulation. The metallics are really, really good, but it's not my favorite metallic formulation, which is why I'm kind of like, eh, but I'm also like, I love you. You're never leaving me because it is still a really nice palette. Lots of different things you can do with it. I feel the same about my Colored Rain Safari Rain palette. This will not be leaving anytime soon. These shades are just gorgeous. They are extremely, um, they, they're very soft, so you have to be careful when you're going in because it's easy to, like, dig on in. So, for me, I will never be getting rid of this palette. It will never happen, not in this life or the next. I can sense it. Next, I have some of my Juvia's Place palettes. This is the Tribe, which originally I was going to get rid of at one point, and then I was like, what was I thinking? As soon as I put it on my eyes, I was like, this palette is so much more special than it looks in the pan. Like, oh, like that was an instant pickup, and it's like a greeny, goldy, beautiful shade. Like, you're so pretty, and I hardly touched it, like... The, Juvia's Place is so good, and the price is good, and if you don't have this, you need to get it, because it is, like, winner, winner, chicken dinner all day long. I feel the same about the Deuce, the Deucey, the Deuce. <laughs> this is really pretty by them as well. However, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. Yeah, I, I think I am going to actually declutter this one. <sighs> This shade down here is just so freaking beautiful. Like, I could use it as blush, I could use it as eyeshadow, but I have a lot of shades like that. So, okay, all right, I need to, I need to go ahead and let this go. However, it will not be technically leaving my collection. In fact, if I move the camera up and over that way, I have a bunch of Juvia's Place palettes over to the side because I actually want to do a ranking video with them before I actually get rid of them, like, for good. Ta -da! So, I'll just set it with the pile over here to the Nudes by Juvia's Place. Oh, this is so good. I, I don't think I'm ready to get rid of this one still. <laughs> Hang on. And they just released like a second volume of these and I want the ones that are kind of like this as well. <laughs> 
I don't have them, but I want them. So for now, I just, I'm not ready to get rid of this. These shades are very special. If you guys want to see swatches, I have swatches, I think, at least of these two palettes. I think. So if not, you'll see them in the near future. ColourPop palettes that I actually still have. Starting with the Nude Mood palette. Like, number one, let's talk about this packaging. It is so beautiful. Like, you see how it catches the light like that? <sighs> Freaking ColourPop. Why are you so good? And to be honest, I loved the way this worked. Now, I haven't posted the video from this on my YouTube yet, so you will still see this, but I have done a look with it using, I think, all of the colors. And I'm not getting rid of it. It's not going anywhere. I don't care. I don't care what you think. <laughs> the next one is Blush Crush, which I also did a video with on my channel, and it will also not be going anywhere because for me, I'm like, if I have to travel, which never happens, but let's say I have to, I will be taking these instead of any of my expensive makeup that I really like, and if I want to, I recently decluttered the other one that looks like this, but if I wanted to get like a really brilliant lid topper shade or whatever, like a brilliant lid shade, I could just pull from like one of these Pat McGrath like little travel ones because then I'm not risking losing one that I'm like going to be heartbroken over losing, so yeah, that's what I do making mauves which I have not had a chance to use yet and so that will not be leaving yet if it sucks then it will probably be going to Lou but for now I have not tried it yet for my channel and that's what I really would like to do the EU palette from Tarte which was actually Sugar Rush and I'm very on the fence because I think that this just has everything to offer in the world now you can barely tell I've even used it because like these honeycomb shapes on it are kind of deceptive which is fine with me but I have used it my question is, is it special enough compared to everything else I have? My hard problem is, is I'm like staring at that freaking yellow shade and I'm like, I can't get rid of you, I love you. Which is not a reason to keep a whole palette. However, <laughs> let's go ahead, let's do a, a couple like small swatches. Oh, that's pretty. That is really good. Oh no. I'm never going to get rid of anything else. <laughs> do this one too. All right, you guys forced me. I have to do more. Those are really good. I'm going to play with this more. I'm not ready to say goodbye to this yet. This next section <laughs> is all my Natasha Denona palettes, but I'm just going to preface this by saying I may not get rid of any of them, but I will absolutely be reordering them and getting rid of the ones that I'm not going to keep or use. I also have the... <sighs> I had it before and I just got it again. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's the Tropical Palette or whatever. I had a credit at Sephora and so I went ahead and got it with, they had just had like a promotion like $20 off a $100 purchase and it's already on sale for like half off. So getting it for 50 bucks kind of makes sense, especially when I didn't have to pay that 50 bucks. So thanks y'all. But I will be going through each of these palettes and keeping the shades that I like the best. I can tell you right now, I'll probably get rid of the majority of like these gray toned ones and I will just custom do palettes with them and then I will sell off the excess. So for right now, I will be keeping this, which is the Biba palette. Most people love this palette. In fact, when I talked about decluttering it the first time around, everybody was like, what were you thinking? You can't get rid of Biba, what? Who are you? And that's okay. <laughs> I kind of get that actually. It's, it is nice. I need more time to play with it, but I will be absolutely tearing apart some of my favorite palettes to get down to the nitty gritty of my favorites. The next one is the Sunrise palette, which I want to do a dupe video with the Alter Ego palette. I will be keeping this. I will probably be keeping it either way because it is beautiful. And in fact, if I do keep this, I'll probably get rid of that Tarte palette, which you guys just saw. And you know what? No, I'm going to, I'm going to be good. I'm going to do it right now. They are kind of similar in tone and between this and what I have and the others, I know I will have these shades. So I will be decluttering this, which is a very sad thing, but I, I have the yellow. I have it. I need to stop obsessing. I've got it. It's okay. The Natasha Denona Lila or Lila palette. I'm not sure which way you say it. This shade down here, I just, I just want to, I just want to love. I've already had another one of these palettes. This is the second one I've had and... I like them all. I will be probably going through this and taking out my absolute favorite colors. You know what? We're going we're gonna to swatch this shade down here because I really want to touch it. Oh, that doesn't look the best though. Oh, okay. All right. All right. It still doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to. I mean, on my finger, I actually like it better than how it's swatching out up here. 
but I do like it. It is beautiful. I will be picking through this for my favorite colors and selling the rest. Gold palette. I'm not touching. I'm not a hair on its head. It looks awful. I don't care. I love it. I love it just the way it is, and it will never be leaving. I got recently, that is the bronze palette from Natasha Denona. This is fan-freaking-tastic. It will not be leaving. It is gorgeous. The, the shadows were perfect. I am a thousand percent happy with this palette. Never be leaving, and that is the Metropolis palette. It, you know, they have the alter ego dupe, but for me, these cream to powders are very special. They actually work really, really well. I know it's a mixed kind of bunch of apples uh, from person to person. For me, they worked great, and I loved this palette. Sunset palette, which will also not be going anywhere. So this is the mini gold palette. It will not be leaving, obviously. It's got some of my favorite things in here. This one is the mini star palette, also really beautiful, not going anywhere. This is the mini glam palette, and I do like it, but I think I think I may declutter this, actually. This is the mini retro palette, and I will be keeping this as well. So this one will be going bye-bye. I will be saving it for now, though, because I am going to do a Natasha Denona ranking video and possibly a Swatch Fest video, so hanging on to it for now. Then next, I have this bougie, beautiful palette which is the blue and purple palette, and I will be keeping this and the next one. I will, however, be going through these shades and picking through and keeping only my absolute favorites. So for now, it is intact, but it will not remain intact, probably. And the last one is the brown-green palette, which is <sighs> freaking perfection. I love this palette. You can't even tell I've touched it, but I, it is it is perfection. <clears throat> Also, I just wanted to add that I know in the last declutter that I did, I had a few comments where people were kind of upset, and I, I understand and can relate to where they're coming from about the amount of items that I have decluttered and the waste that there is involved in having this much makeup. Now, to that fact, I just want to state a couple things. One, I never, unless a, unless a makeup, I never, unless makeup has actually gone bad, throw something away. Like, it just does not go in the dumpster. If nothing else, I would keep it for swatching purposes. So, I will never be one to just toss something in a garbage can. I always try to either sell it somewhere or give it to a family member or a friend. I don't like to turn my waste into world waste. So, just keep that in mind when you are watching these videos. And when I do buy stuff, it's because I genuinely want to try it and I want to see if it's the next best thing for me. And for me, I'm sick a lot of the time. I don't get to leave my house. I don't get to go out and hang out with friends and do stuff that a lot of normal people get to do. So this is what makes me happy. And this is where I find my enjoyment and purpose in life, which sounds maybe very shallow. But to me, I, I just, outside of my kids and my family, there's not a lot that I get to do. So I really hope you guys won't begrudge me that. And also there will be some brands in here that I'm sure you guys don't like or are not happy with or there's controversy surrounding. And I just, I just want you guys to know, like, I have no hate for anybody. I love all people. I mean, I'm disappointed in some people, but I, I love people. And um, I try not to judge them. I try really, really hard to see everybody's point of view on different things. But at the end of the day, this is a makeup channel. And when you guys tell me you want to see something, I will pick it up, regardless of any kind of controversy surrounding that. So I, again, apologize if I have makeup that offends you. I would never try to offend anybody. But, um, again, I just try to have fun with makeup and have fun with what I can. So, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Okay, so in my Jeffree Star palettes, this one is the Bloodlust palette. This is what it looks like. It is a very pretty palette. And I've come to a decision on my Jeffree Star palettes. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to actually depot these. And I'm going to keep the colors I like and I'm going to get rid of the colors that I don't really care for. So... I will technically be keeping all of my Jeffree Star palettes, but I will only be keeping the palettes that make sense for me. Or I will only be keeping the shades that make sense for me and my use. This is the Mini Breaker palette, and I love this palette. I actually think this is one of my favorite palettes from him. The Thirsty palette, also one of my favorite palettes from him. I know not everybody is crazy about these shades, but I have extremely sensitive eyes, and I'm actually able to use them. So for me, I love this palette. I've always liked using it. You can barely tell I've even touched it. But like this shade, like I hardly touched that, and just really pretty. Really like it. 
I know that there is a lot of controversy around Jeffree Star, and I've had very mixed opinions on, you know, what my viewers wanted to see, and I, this, this may upset some of my viewers, but I did go ahead and get his new collection, a lot of it. Uh, I had a lot of people, I did a poll on my channel, and it was like 60% of the people that voted wanted to see his stuff, and then 40% were like, if you get it, then you can, you're dead to me. <laughs> so, I'm really sorry. Here's the thing. I love makeup, and I'm here for makeup. I'm not here for Jeffree Star. I'm not here for Jaclyn Hill. I'm not here for any of those people. I'm here for their products. I want to try them. I love makeup, so I like digging in. Sorry, guys. So, the next one I have is the Alien palette, which I actually truly, truly love. This is one of my favorite palettes from him. I, I keep saying that about each of these palettes. <laughs> but this is definitely a well-loved palette. I enjoy it very much. So, even if I wasn't going to be saving the shades I liked, I would not declutter this because it is a favorite of mine. The Jawbreaker. Now, this is a hit and miss for me because I really... Okay, for the idea, it's perfect. I mean, it is truly, like when you think of a Jawbreaker, this is it. So, that aspect is really great, but I will never and have not used a lot of these shades. So, again, here, this is where depotting is going to take place, and I will be keeping just the shades I like, because I really enjoy his formulation, and it has never irritated my eyes. It is cremated, and ugh, this is what the inside looks like. I have used it quite a bit. I will say this for sure. I will absolutely be getting rid of the blue-gray shades, because that's not my jam. I'm not into it at all. But everything else I am keeping because I really dig neutral shades and that's what it is. There's that. And I'm not crazy about the packaging personally. I'm just like not, not into it. <laughs> but like the hard, okay, if I was going by packaging, let's just go ahead and back this up real quick. I don't like this. I don't really care about this. It's like, you know, one way or the other. This is bulky. This I like very, very much. It's sleek. It's easy to carry. This is, I like this. Um, this is bulky, so I would probably get rid of it, though it is unique. It is it is cool. It is cool, but it's not my jam, so in any case. Then there is the Blood Sugar Palette, which is my absolute, I mean, like, I love this palette. It is awesome. I, I don't know. I like the packaging. I like everything about it. It's a really nice palette. I have blood sugar problems. Like, I have hyperinsulinemia, and I'm a reactive hypoglycemic. So, <laughs> this to me just, like, kind of cracked me up because I was like, oh, my life right there. Boom. And then the last one we talked about in the last video was Blue Blood. And here's the thing. This packaging is awesome. Like, it's bulky, but it is cool. The other thing is that I don't like blue eyeshadows. I mean, they're fun to play with once in a while, but it's just not my thing. It will never be my thing. I am so sorry. So this is another one where I just could not, I could not declutter it because I enjoyed it. Like, the colors I like, I really like. And I have enjoyed even some of the blues, but I am going to take out the colors that I like, put them into a different palette, and make good use of them. Boom shakalaka. So that's where, that sits with Jeffree Star palettes. And now you guys know that, yes, I did, in fact, purchase the the O Collection. I think I'm just going to call it the O Collection because um, I'm not crazy about the name of it. <laughs> and I'll get into all that with my video. And here's the thing. Like, if it sucks, I'm going to tell you guys it sucks. I don't care whose palette it is. I really hope that you guys don't just hate me because I picked up the stuff. I, I mean, it it's no reflection on anything other than I like makeup. You guys mostly said you wanted me to check it out and let you know what I thought, so that's what I did. Don't hate me. <laughs> what I have is this e.l.f. quad that I hung on to, and I'm gonna real quick just put these, like, look how... That's really a good shade, but this green shade is so pretty, too. Okay, do I need these? No. I've finally been able to say I don't need these. It's not even an expensive palette, so I don't know why it was, like, such a struggle, but two to lose. I used to like the yellow, I used to like the yellowy gold a lot more, but now I'm like, eh. Okay, the next one. If you watched my recent review, you already know that this is coming. This is a goodbye for me. I did not think that this performed that well, so two to lose. This is the Fenty 10 Money palette. I actually compared it to this in my video. In fact, let's go ahead and just, uh... Take a swipey swipe. Let me wipe off my finger so I can be fair about it here. Here is the gold in this. I'm not saying they're the same color, but just so you have an idea of how the swatches go. 
the elf ones are just much more brilliant. And then let's do, I don't know, this middle shade looks like it would be the most metallic besides the gold, so I'll do that one again. And, like, it's just, it's not, it's not good. I'm so sorry, Fenty. I really like you. I really like a lot of the stuff you're coming out with, but that is not good quality. It's just not. There you have it. Both declutter. Because I have many, many green shades that I love. For instance, from Kaleidos, which is this. For instance, from Kaleidos, which this is the Futurism, I think, one or something. I love this palette. Let's do a little comparison with these shades. Clearly, I have a type. You can see that right now. Like, really, the elf one is pretty darn good, but it's Kaleidos gold color. And then the green... Oh my gosh, like look at it on my finger. Bam! That is so good. So clearly this will be staying. Those will be going. We don't got time for shades that aren't the best. Tom Ford Quad. This is the only one I kept last time. This is Nude Dip. Alright, let's let's take another look-see at this. Okay, this is a beautiful like daily wear palette. I actually think I will probably keep it even though I'm kind of like... But you haven't used it. Oh, but, like, look at that. That's gorgeous. Let's come up here. Can't really see that, though. But that is on my arm. And it is similar to the color of my arm. Shade 2. Like, that's, that's really... These are very delicate shades. There is those. So, I, I'm going to keep it for now. It's the last one I've got from him, so... Let's just be honest here. We've got the Smoke Sessions palette. Yet another palette where I really like the golds and greens. And in fact, I wish I wouldn't have just wiped off my freaking hand. But we're just going to go ahead and do a little swatchy swatch. Like, I hardly touched that. Okay. There's the gold. Beautiful. Like, I hardly touched that. Like, there. There's like a fair pickup right there. Tell me that is not beautiful. So that's really nice. And then let's do a green shade. Because I don't even think I've used the greens in here. I've, I've actually had two of these. So then there's that. Very pretty. Ah! So that's a keepsie. Then we've got the 27 palette. I will also not be getting rid of this. To me, I really enjoy this palette. It's really pretty. I've swatched all of these. If you want to check them out, I've done a completely melt focused video. I will link that below. 420 will never be leaving ever, ever, ever. This shade sucks. Shatter is terrible. Like, let me just try and... It's so hard. It's like soft hard, but it sucks. It's kind of like the Fenty ones, to be real honest. Like, I should write them and see if they could just send maybe a different pan. Should not be like that, I do not think. But it was, it was terrible. So, but the rest of them, the mats in here, well worth it. I don't feel cheated because of them. The next one is the Rust Palette. Like, yes, every day. I could use this every freaking day and never, ever get tired of it. Like, hey, yo, girl, you basic, but you basic in the best way, baby. Mm, you do you. Then we've got the Gemini, which is a staple in life. If you guys are on the fence about getting melt and you don't know what you want... But you're drawn to these kind of like murky colors. This is it. This is it. Doo -doo -doo. Every shade in here is a winner. This one is the Vita palette. It is gorgeous. And it's funny to me that people don't like this as much as the Muerte palette. Because it's so good. I don't understand. Like, I see this for sale online now. And people are selling it still for like 40 and 60 bucks. And then you see the Muerte and they're selling it for like $200. $150. And I'm like, it just makes me want to cry a little bit. But, in any case, here is, like, look at this, oh! Like, look at this shade. <sighs> Melt. When you make a metallic formulation, make it this. It is good. This is bad. Good, bad. I don't know why I'm talking to you like you're a child. I'm sorry, that was rude. <laughs> you normally do really good. I just hate, hate, hate that other one. Impulsive palette, also not a very popular palette. But I happen to really enjoy everything on this side. This side could be great if they just performed a little bit better or if the color story made sense with the other side. I get that this is like a compilation of like everything they've done since the brand started, but 
Okay, I had to pause for a second. My madre was worried because she couldn't get a hold of me. And it was because I was doing this video. <laughs> anyway, the next one is radioactive. This is the only one I go back and forth on because I don't use this. I probably won't use this. It's frivolous to keep this. But then I go, what if, what if, <laughs> what if I need a, like, beautiful, vibrant, fun palette and I'm not keeping the jawbreaker? You know, what if I need that? <laughs> And I look at this and I'm like, when I look into your eyes, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I'm really still on the fence about it. Let's go ahead and just uh, do a little swatchy of some of these purples. Ooh, okay. That's, that's very pretty. I'm actually kind of upset with myself for not using it now. Idiot. <laughs> okay. Let's try hazmat. That kind of gives me Pat McGrath purple vibes a little bit. Not as intense, but I also hardly touched that at all. Like there, I picked it up a little bit more. Like, this reminds me of the purple in Lavie and Rose from uh, Pat McGrath. <sighs> I just don't know, you guys. I'm just not decided on it because I actually am now... You know what? I saw somebody... Ooh, that was really good. Um, I saw somebody rearrange all of their melt palettes because these are magnetized and you can take them out. So maybe what I'll do is I will take out all the pans and then display the packages because I love the packaging. I think it's gorgeous. And then I can reorganize the pans however I want. So maybe that's what I'm going to do with this too. The last one I have is She's in Parties. And it is so good. You guys, if you have not gotten this, if you were on the fence, it is so beautiful. I love you. I love you so much. I really enjoy it. I think it's worth checking out. And I hope you guys give it a chance if you are able to. If that's your jam, because purple's not for everybody. I am only missing <laughs> the Morte palette. And if anybody has it and wants to sell it to me for a fair price... Hit your girl up. Let her know. Because she wants to definitely have that as well. So in any case, none of these are leaving. Sorry. I love my Melt palettes. I love them. Love them so much. Charlotte Tilbury. It's going to it's gonna be brutal. I can already say this. So, Charlotte, I have a bunch of her stuff. And, uh, okay, I really like this. I think it's beautiful. I think it works great. I really like this. I actually have two of them. And I will say this. I should keep it. But I don't think I will. For now, it's in the maybe pile. This is her highlighting trio. Which I have not even got to touch yet. I'm going to be honest here. So we're going to touch it now. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty. <laughs> I hate when I touch stuff and I'm like, oh, I could totally justify keeping this. But I have stuff that is, you know, more beautiful and brilliant than this. Like, I like, I like Charlotte Tilbury. I like Charlotte Tilbury because I feel like she's got the best matte formulation probably almost out there in general. Cindy Grace is a really close second. Ma Makeup Geek is right up there. Jeffree Star is right up there. Melt is right up there. But for the most part, Charlotte Tilbury, top of the line, matte formulation. Great. Her metallics are usually lackluster. So that is where it gets me. If her metallics were as good as her mattes, I'd be easy. I'd keep it all day. Um, these would be great for... For what they are, highlighters, I think they would just be luminous and really beautiful, but I think I will be doing away with that because I have many, many highlighting things. Okay, next we have the Gorgeous Glowing Beauty Look in a Palette. <sighs> I instantly hate this. <laughs> this is the bane of my existence. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> okay, I've got another one. Let's just put them side by side. This one is Beauty Glow. Okay. And I will tell myself I get to keep one. Oh, I hate this. Let's just talk about it this way. I love the bronzer in this because it's probably more my color. And I love the highlight, like, compared to the other one. Like, well, but are these highlights that great compared to other ones I have? I mean, not really. Not even compared to that. Real talk. <sighs> Okay, alright, this may be easier than I thought. The the cheeks, I love this cheek though. I think this is like the most beautiful cheek ever. So now let's go ahead. There's one of the eyes. Okay. That's what I mean. They're very soft. They're very subtle kind of shades rather than outright boom pow shades. I mean, really here at this point it would be a, a pick between do I prefer more brown or do I prefer more rose tone. And I'm kind of like... If I'm going to, I don't know, I'm torn here. Because I really love her bronzers. I like her bronzing duo, actually. And I'm like, okay, I could keep, like, 20 different things of hers. 
like this and actually I've got this over here because I used it <laughs> and this or I could just keep one of these okay I don't know hang on which does this look closest to it's like right in between those <laughs> all right well shit <laughs> okay I think if I'm gonna get rid of one it would be this one which is the beauty glow I am sad about it. Right now, I'll be keeping this for the second. Moving on. Next, we have Supersonic Girl, which is this. And I think I can go ahead and let this one go at this point. So this is goodbye. The Celestial Eyes Palette of Pops, so it's like another version of that. I don't feel like I need this one either, although that first shade is really pretty. I love the packaging. Okay, I'm going to keep it in the maybe. <laughs> Here's the maybe. Starlight Palette of Pops, which is this with the kind of greeny slate tones. <sighs> Boy, that's going deep today, huh? Let's, let's go ahead and get a swatchy here on the situation. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is beautiful. But swatched out, it isn't as pretty as it is on my finger. I don't know. This may bear more thought. Yeah, these swatched out don't look nearly as nice as they do, like, right on the finger at first. Let's just, like, that's a topper shade. I'm not really impressed with that. Put this in the baby pile. Is Mesmerizing Maroon. This I really did like. It's a really pretty quad. We're going to keep it in the maybes. I know it's going to seem like I've got a lot of maybes here. Um, then we've got Exaggerize. This I think I will be keeping because I really liked it. Yeah. Okay, let's... We'll put a swatch on the scene here. Ah. Well, maybe I won't be keeping it. Maybe it's going to get easier and easier. Okay, for now, goodbye. I mean, with a brush, I think that these apply much better than when you use your finger. That's just my thoughts. I know that they are, like, the pop shades are made to be applied with your finger, but I'm being real here. The Rebel, I love the Rebel. I don't think I'll be getting rid of this, just to be real here. Let's put it right over here next to this. Huh. Okay. I don't know. I mean, it is pretty. It is pretty, but it's not nearly as good as a lot of other brands I have. Like, see how good it looks on the finger? And then you, like, swatch it out, and you're like, why? Why? I'm not ready to get rid of that, so that's a keep. Um, Copper Charge. I loved this one too. And actually, I will still probably be keeping this one. Unless something has really changed. Ooh, like look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Pat McGrath vibes right there. For now, that's a keep. Then we got Pillow Talk. Which I also like. No, this is the Pillow Talk palette of pops. Ah! I thought I already did that, but I didn't. Let's go ahead and touch these up. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Like, I'm running out of space. But it is so light. Is it worth it? I don't know. Let's do this shade. Is that worth it? No. Pillow Talk palette. People are sick to death of this palette, but it is pretty. Like, that is a beautiful shade, if it applied like that. Hang on. I'm running out of space here. I don't know. I Red Bull palette. So, <laughs> my hand. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check this out. Ooh, that's pretty. If it stays like that. I need more room. Oh, I like that a lot. Hmm. Ooh, like look at that on my finger. This, see, this one is swatching pretty decent. But not always what you see is what you get. I like this one. I'm keeping it. What we have going on right there is my maybe pile. Now, let's pull out some of the full-size palettes, which I enjoy a lot. The Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. 
and let's see here this is giving me a little bit of those vibes but not a lot this is however giving me a ton of those vibes so if I keep this I'm gonna get rid of this and I will be keeping this I believe yeah look at that that's a pretty shade yeah we keeping this okay we're gonna keep this then let's go ahead and this is the starry eyes to hypnotize which is kind of giving me those vibes a little bit definitely oh wait this is already gone goodbye to it lose definitely giving me a little bit of these vibes like this little tree right here reminds me of that and um and of that so I think I will go ahead and keep this and I think get rid of these wow we do a thing and this is the stars in your eyes palette these remind me very much of this it's giving me those kind of same vibes But is this, I can't remember if this was as good. Ooh, that's pretty. You see this? That's a pretty color. Okay, all right. I'll be keeping this and I'll be getting rid of this. Oh my gosh. This one I will never be getting rid of. It is really good. And why people don't like use and like this palette more, I don't know. Because it is honestly some of her best formulation in my personal opinion. But here again, you can see these shades over on the far left are very reminiscent, again, of like this. So I don't really feel like I'm missing out by getting rid of it. Good. Oh, I feel so much better now. So out of my Charlotte, this is what I'm keeping. That's the Rebel Carp Copper Charge, which I may, I don't know. Okay, I'm definitely keeping the Rebels. I'm going to set them off. You know what? Maybe I'm not. I'm going to set this here. We're going to look at these again. There's the new Rebel. The, ah, almost dropped it. Old Rebel. And then also Copper Charge. And we're gonna go down this line too. Okay, so in this palette, I think, well, if it reminded me of anything, it'd remind me of like the first little area here. It is similar, but it's not the exact same. It is very similar though. Hmm. Huh. I may be able to get rid of that easily and not feel as bad. Let's check out this a little bit. I am literally running out of all space. Okay, so there's that shade, which I think with the brush is applied a lot easier. And there's this shade. It's kind of lackluster. And I think these are really good, yeah. Like, look at the comparison of shine. <laughs> I'm really down to the wire on arm space. There's to hypnotize. The green shades are very reminiscent of the regular Rebel. Um, I don't, I don't know. Let's go ahead. Here's that. Very shiny. Sorry, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. And let's go into the second one, which I hardly touched. That's very good for her. <laughs> and then there's this one, which I hardly touched again. Very good. Okay. Was there anything that's like that? Eh, maybe this top first one a little bit, so I'll leave it to the side here real quick. Now this, compared to this... This yellow, this gold's pretty good. All right. Maybe I have to pick this up a little bit more. See, that to me, it's not bad, but it's not very green. These are almost like gray tones rather than green. And then there's this one. Which is very pretty, but okay. I think I'm going to get rid of the new Rebel. Wow. Wow. Shit's happening. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do maybe some of these with this. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, there's that. Let's put that against maybe this one. Ooh, which that's pretty, but that's a topper. So it like disperses differently. So we'll go ahead and this one is very pretty. Okay. And there's that, which is very good. And then there's that from this palette, which is a terrible swatch, sorry. Different, okay, I don't know. We'll set this to the side. Let me pull this little, let me pull this one back out real quick. And grab anything that looks 
Yeah, not so much. Okay. And then this one's not really the same. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and keep this and this. This is all I'm keeping. And I'm getting rid of these four, this one, these four, this one, and this. All of Charlotte Tilbury. Toodaloo to you, Charlotte Tilbury. It's been a good run. I will be keeping these for a hot minute, though, so I can do some swatches for you guys. I am going to do a favorite Charlotte Tilbury and a swatches, like a specific swatch video for you guys to see that a little bit better. So, they're gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> I think this is pretty much the last of everything I have. Um, pretty sure. I do have, like, cheek palettes and stuff like that, so maybe if you guys want to see, like, a cheek palette or face... Look, sorry, my hands are a mess right now. I, I can't can't help that. Um, but if you guys want to see, like, face products declutter or lipsticks declutter or something like that, let me know. I will happily do it. The only Urban Decay palette I have left, and it is the Naked Honey palette. I love this. I will not be getting rid of it. It is a very enjoyable palette. I love you. Love you so much. I, I'm not getting rid of it. Sorry. This is the only ABH palette I have left, which is the Jackie Ina palette. And we need to look further into this. I've kept it because I love the shade Sponsored. Oh. And as soon as I touch it, I'm like, oh, Sponsored, I love you so much. But then I go, I know I have a shade like that, Natasha Denona. I know. Ooh, I bet, you know what? I bet Scarab... Or, it, well, it's called Scarab in this, but it's also Red Chameleon from Sydney Grace. Looks a lot like that. <laughs> Alright. Um, this is a declutter. Goodbye. Now, now's the hard part. Uh, so I've got the Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum. This is a great little palette. The performance is good. Let's just give it a touchy touch, like... But is it just the way that this color combination is ordered and not really how good it is? There's there's a hot ticket question right there. Like, that's pretty, but, like, do I need it? Because I know I've got some that are less dry feeling than that. Um, you know what? I love the yellow. You guys have got to be able to tell that I have a hard time decluttering stuff that has a yellow in it because I'm like, but I love you. And, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I can't believe I just did this. <laughs> the next one is Too Faced Gingerbread. Oh, wait. Yeah. Regular Gingerbread Spice. Spice. Gingerbread Spice. Gingerbread Spice. Hmm. These shades give me all the feels. I just love them so much. So, it's very hard for me to want to get rid of them. However, then I go, okay, but I know I have a lot of these shades from Sydney Grace or from Makeup Geek or from any other brand that I like, so, and to me, while these, oh, okay, that is, whoo, you guys see that little shifty shift there? That is just like the one in the Pat McGrath palette, maybe slightly more pink, but you know that one that is in, um, Decadence palette? That is literally what that's giving me vibes of. Oh my gosh, it literally looks the exact same. Hang on. Let's, let's put this up side by side here. So, I'm pulling it from that one. I'm sorry, I've got... I should do this different. There, they're both in the frame at least. Oh my gosh, look at that! We got a little dupe skis! Dupe skis! So, if you wanted that shade in the Decadence palette, just pick up the Gingerbread Spice palette. I don't think they sell it anymore, but you should pick it up. Let's see here, is there anything else that is kind of similar? The warm and toasty is way more warm toned, like orangey toned, than the gold and that. I don't think so, but I'll tell you what, that in and of itself was very exciting. <laughs> like, don't we love finding one really good dupe? And I've got to say, for me, I don't know. The Too Faced one looks really, really good, but the Pat McGrath one feels better. Hmm. But I, I, okay, I love and hate that these have a smell. I love it because I like to smell it. However, I go, is putting fragrance on my face like that, like, a great idea? Okay. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. Then we've got the extra spicy. <laughs> We're going deep. Or. <sighs> okay. So we're going to pull this one. Midnight snack. 
Ooh, that looks terrible. Against this one. Oh, way different. Like, look at that. Boom. Yeah. But this one is kind of not my favorite. There's another blue inside of that Pat McGrath palette that I don't like. And I don't think it does very good. There you have it. <sighs> Shoot, y'all. I really like these palettes. They're really pretty. But I haven't used them. I haven't used them. I haven't used them. I haven't used them. I haven't used them, so should I lose them? Goodbye. Okay. Oh, shit, I did it. <laughs> it's done. It is done. All right. I guess I'll be keeping this for now. I don't even... We're coming back to this here. I like this shade. I need to find out what the shade is separately, and if they sell it alone, then maybe I'll pick it up. But I, I've got to have this shade. So I can't get rid of this right now. So this is a keep for now. This is a keep. These are goodbye. So these four. All right. Okay, so here is my complete declutter. All of this. You'll see lots of Pat McGrath, lots of Charlotte Tilbury, lots of Makeup Geek, lots of indie brands and other brands and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to do a tally real quick and I'm going to add up how many palettes I have decluttered versus how many I have kept. Okay, so the total decluttered today was 49 palettes. I already sold, I think, one of them. <laughs> uh... Stuff moves quickly around here. So 49 decluttered and let me count up how many I kept. Okay, so I have kept about 80 palettes. Um, I do have a couple coming. I do have a couple going. I have a couple that I need to break down into like a, you know, big palette of things that I actually like. So I will technically have less once I'm done doing that. But for now, this is where we leave the day with a mighty, mighty, uh, declutter so i really hope you guys like this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up put a comment down below subscribe and ring the bell for future updates 